74th Republic Day, I extend my greetings to the public of Andhra Pradesh. It is 73 years since the Constitution has come into being. The Constitution is imbibed with the highest levels of human values and took shape under the supervision of stalwarts like Dr. Rajendra Prasad and Baba Sahib Ambedkar. The essence of the 73-year-old constitution is being carried out by state government in true letter and spirit in the past 43 months of the governance. Establishing that our state government is not a government of words, but a government of deeds. We have brought in real Gram Suraj in just 43 months, which cannot be seen anywhere in the country. Village, ward secretaries, and volunteer system from an important element to realize Gram Suraj. State government is following the constitutional spirit of giving equal opportunity to everyone looking beyond caste, religion, region, and political affiliation. Government having realized that no serious efforts was made earlier to change the fate of the marginalized sections has embarked upon an unprecedented direct benefit transfer through which an amount of rupees 1.82 lakh crores has reached the intended beneficiaries till date in a most transparent manner. During the tough time of COVID, despite strain on finance, state government has provided financial and through Navaratnalu during the period of distress. Jagarana Amabodi, with a motto that no mother shall be deprived of sending her children to school because of poverty, state government is providing annual financial assistance of rupees 15,000 to the poor and needy mothers of the children studying from class 1 to intermediate. The government so far has created rupees 19,617 crores directly into the accounts of 44.49 lakh mothers, thereby benefiting 84 lakh children throughout the scheme. Manabadi Nadu Nadu. Under the scheme, total revamp of infrastructure has been taken up in 45,484 government schools, 471 government junior colleges, 151 government degree colleges, 3,287 government hospitals, 55,607 Anganwadi with an expenditure of around 17,805 crores in three phases. Jagananna Gurumuda to ensure good quality, tasty and nutritious midday meals to the children. The revamped midday meals program was launched in the name of Jagananna Guru Mudda on January 20, 21, 2020. Government is spending an amount of around rupees 1800 crores per year on this scheme. Till now, government has spent 3,239 crores on this scheme. Jagananna Vidya Kanuka. Every student is providing with a kit consisting of bilingual textbooks, 
notebooks, workbooks, three pairs of uniform with stitching charges, one pair shoes and two pair socks, belt, school bag, and also Oxford English Telugu Dictionary at free of cost. Government have spent rupees 2,368 crores so that so so far by benefiting 47 lakh children throughout the state in this scheme. Jaganana Vidya Devana. State government is reimbursing total fees regularly on a quarterly basis directly into the bank accounts of mothers of students pursuing IIT, Polytechnic degree, engineering, medicine, and other courses. So far, state government has dispersed an, an amount of 9,051 crores to 24,74,544 beneficiaries under this scheme. English medium with the CBSE syllabus, aiming to transform poor students into global citizens, state government has introduced English as a medium of instruction with the CBSE syllabus from primary level itself. Digital learning, marching ahead to transform poor students as global citizens, digital mode learning was introduced towards providing better edu education on par with best schools. As many as 5,18,740 tabs worth rupees 688 crores with preloaded wages consent worth rupees 778 crores were distributed to 4,59,569 students of 8th standard. Agriculture. The government accords top priority to the welfare of farmers and the farmers sector as agriculture is the backbone of our state's economy. Crop booking through a unique initiative, the government is taking up digital recording of area shown in all the crop holding of farmers through e-crop booking for implementation of various farmers' welfare programs. Dr. Vyas Raitu Harsakendralu. Our government has established 10,778 RVKs, which have effectively evolved as one stop center to meet the farmers' needs by from supply of seeds to sale of crops. Government is arranging supply of pre certified quality inputs to the farmers to this RBKs. Pradip procurement. To ensure MSP to the farmers, paddy is procured through RBKs at farm gate without the government, without the involvement of a middleman. So far, 2.88 crore metric ton of paddy was purchased worth 54,140 crores, ensuring MSP to 29,77 lakh farmers. YSR Raitu Barsa and PM Kishan. The government is extending YSR Raitu Barsa PM Kishan assistance of rupees 1300, 5, 13,500 
per year, not only to the farmers cultivating their own lands, but also eligible SC, ST, BC, minority tenant farmers and farmers cultivating the RO, AFR and endowment lands. Government have dispersed so far rupees 25,971 crores to 52.38 lakh farmers in the past three and a half years.